I saw it a tracking device on your limo from back in the day when I hated you, and I thought it was a little odd when your limo driver made a midnight trip to Romantic Inn in Wyndham. Anyway, did you kill him or not? Because if you didn't, running sure makes it look like you did. Chuck did nothing wrong. It's not entirely true. I didn't help him. Who shoved him first, who got hit, I, I don't even know. It was self-defense. Bart tried to kill you on that plane. I saved myself, then I fought back. I, I don't feel guilty, but that doesn't mean that I'm not. Anyways, Bart made it clear he owns Captain Donnelly. Can you help us get out of here? A, a nice deserted island with no extradition treaties. We don't need money. We can live off the land. As much as I'd love to see you spearfishing in a coconut bikini, I uh, had another thought. Were there security cameras on that roof? Or turn them off. Because he was going to kill you. So who saw you up there? Him and Blair. And I won't say a word. Even if they torture me, I won't speak. I uh, had a different kind of torture in mind. Marriage. Spousal privilege means that a wife cannot be forced to testify against her husband. Not like this, Blair. Why not? We are in love, and one way or another, we both achieved our goals. And every trembling bone in my tired and scared body wants to marry you. It's twisted, but it's uh, very you. Uh... Jack is right. Chuck and Blair hold hands. Chuck and Blair go to the movies. You said you never wanted us to be boring. Well, we definitely aren't that now. I was a stupid child when I said those things. Yes, I will. <laughs>